how to flip reset for advanced players. But first, warning, this is an advanced reset tutorial. Luca, tell the people. It's an advanced tutorial. Meaning, if you haven't hit your first reset yet, I recommend you actually start with an introduction to flip resets. I'm gonna link a video on screen by the now retired coach, Verge, one of the goats of the scene. He made a flip reset tutorial four years ago when free to play went live. And in my opinion, it's the best one out there. So go watch that if you've yet to hit your first reset and then come back to this for some advanced tips to help you score it. The reason I'm making this video is because I was doing a coaching session with my private coach, Shock, and he revealed to me one thing that I was doing with my flip resets that's wrong. You see, the problem is if you use the air dribble setup on a flip reset where you sort of try to stay close, you jump with the ball. If I try to reset here, I'm too close to the ball. And even if I get it, I'm bouncing off. I'm in a terrible position to follow it up. You want to pump the brakes. This is kind of that pop and stop to allow some space between your car and the ball before you take to the air. What this is going to do is it's going to create separation, which gives you time to chase after the ball and land the reset. Not only does this make landing the reset easier, but because of this sort of bounce, you're going to get off the ball by doing the pop and stop and chasing it down. You'll actually be in a better position to follow it up. I'm basically bouncing off the ball when I get the flip reset. Do you see that? Yeah. That's what that separation gets you because you're pushing the back of your car into the ball and then you basically fall off it. But now that you understand this idea of like the setup, let me talk about getting the reset. The mistake a lot of people make here is what a lot of new players will do is float under the ball and let the ball fall on them to get the reset. The reason this doesn't work is because you actually need to hit the ball with speed and guarantee a reset. If you just softly float under the ball and try to let it fall on you, you're not going to get resets as consistently as if you fly into the ball and attack it. I want you to think about boosting through the reset. What this means is you want to be pulling down and boosting while you fly into the ball to hit it at max speed and give you the best chance of getting the reset. You'll notice here what I'm doing to get the flip reset is I'm just doing a little bit of tornado spin after I get off the wall and then I stop boosting and then I get upside down and then I push my analog stick down to get to the ball. Now let's talk about how we finish the reset. The first option, one of the most effective ones he uses is just the delay. That's one of the most effective one-on-ones. You turn your car upside down and you just float. Float, 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 wait for the defender to challenge, hit it forward. This is the sort of simple follow-up uh, with a front flip cancel that I would recommend for most situations. You get the flip, you hit no more buttons, you just watch your opponent until they jump and then you use it. So the second option Shock teaches, if you have time and space, is the reset into air dribble. We're gonna hit the ball up, we'll get the reset early, and then we wanna fly back into the air dribble. He taught me the best way to get good at getting back into the air dribble after the reset is to practice just falling off the ceiling. Because funny enough, this position where we're falling off the ceiling here is the same position where you're falling off the ball. And this air dribble into reset setup is very good if nobody early challenges you, right? And you have time. I mean, if somebody early challenges you, you can just reset immediately after you get it. But if you have space, you transition back into the air dribble and you can use this to beat two defenders now. You can start the air dribble again and do it that way, which is probably most effective if you have the time to be able to get back into the air dribble because it's so hard to defend. And then the last option is just the musty. This is the other option you can use when you have space, you just wait and musty. This is not going to be a reset musty tutorial. I'm not going to show you how to do this. I'm just trying to give you a sense of the options that you have. And the musty is good because you can get you can get a flick that's powerful enough to beat two defenders. Musting is also good if you have two opponents who are waiting on the ground and can't cover the high. Finally, let's address some flip reset myths to make sure you're good before you go practice this in game. First off, do you need to hit all four wheels to get a reset? Answer, no. The location of where you get the reset on your car depends on the car hitbox you're using. For a better and more technically correct explanation of this, check out Verge's tutorial where he talks about the front half reset and the back half reset. Question number two, when should I use flip resets in game? Flip resets are primarily a scoring mechanic. What that means is you need space to set them up. However, if you can get faster at resets, you're going to be able to use them in more situations. So at the low ranks, I would save these until you have an offensive advantage. But once you get to the higher ranks, you can spam resets much more freely because you'll be able to recover faster and get them faster, which is going to lower the risk. And finally, what are the best ways to train resets? First pack is the goat of flip reset training. It's just wall to air dribble by IP Joker. Start with this just to 
learn how to get the setup and get resets consistently. However, once you get good at these and you start to climb to around champ or even grand champ, you're going to want to be able to apply flip resets in game. Once you get to this level, I recommend you take to either free play or my new favorite training pack that I've been doing for the last month called Realistic Air Dribbles by Way protein. This training pack is going to give you setups that start slightly off the wall or even ground to air dribble. And the reason this is so important is because once you learn how to get these setups from awkward situations, you're going to be so much more dangerous and you're going to create more scoring opportunities in your game. That was how to flip reset for advanced players. Join the free school page if you want more coaching. I'll have training packs linked in our free school community on how to reset. And I'm running an event this weekend when this video goes live. So if you want to join and practice, this flip resets with me live. I'll show you how to land your first flip reset in my free school community. We're doing that. This video goes live on Saturday. We're doing that on Sunday. So you got 24 hours to join. Yeah. If you want to hit your first flip reset, private event, come say hi. School community, free to join. You can leave whenever you want. It's worth it. I swear people like it. Anyways, appreciate you guys for watching and uh, I'll see you in the next one. Let's see if I can get one final clip. Musty. <laughs> wow, I'm washed. I can hit that. I can never miss these. I'll <laughs> oh, take that out. Cut that out, Flixie. Don't show them that. <laughs>